Hey, what's going on guys? So in one of my earlier videos, we talked about how once you've selected a range of footage to be imported into the timeline, you can simply drag it to the right to review a secret menu here. And now as you can see, the default is overwrite. So what that means is that we don't even have to drop this on top of that option. We can just drop it right here. And then this is not going to perform the action. So this just creates a huge opportunity for really efficient editing. But what if, let's say, I want to now append it to the end of the timeline? So what that means is now I have to drag it and then drop it on top of that specific option right there in the menu in order for this to work. So this, as you can see, is not that quite efficient, especially if we want to perform this edit over and over again. And the default is always set to overwrite every time. Okay, so now comes our game changing feature here. Uh, what we want to do is to come up to DaVinci Resolve. Let's click on preferences and then in the menu, let's go to the user tab first and then we're going to go to editing and then let's scroll down a bit to the general settings section. You're going to see a setting called timeline overlay retains the last perform action. So let's click on that and then let's click the save button. So now let's say that uh, you want to start a panning clip to the end of the timeline. What you want to do right here is to just drag it over and then drop it on top of this option in this hidden menu. And once you've done that, this is now going to become the default moving forward. So as you can see for this clip, if we drag it over in this menu right here, a pen at end is now highlighted as the default. So what you want to do is to simply just drop it right now. This will now start to perform this edit going forward. This is super efficient, especially if you compare it to how you would do this manually. So as you can see, just dragging it into the timeline and place it at the end of the uh, timeline here is just incredibly cumbersome. But now moving forward, what you can do is to simply just drag it over. Once the menu is reviewed, just drop it like that. So as you can see, it's like a split second edit and it's just incredibly fast. And all of this got even better in DaVinci Resolve 20 because in 20, we have the source tape mode available for source clips. So let's turn that on. And now, as you can see, this is now going to basically turn all your source clips into one giant clip, which allows you to go through all your source clips, all your footage in one setting. So as you can see, all I'm doing here is just go through uh, these different clips and then select the range that I want to get appended to the end of the timeline. And because now append at end is now set as the default. So all I'm doing is just to quickly drag it over to the right screen and then just drop it. Uh, this will now perform this action. So yes, yeah, source tape mode combined with uh, this setting uh, turned on, uh, it's just going to make your edit very, very efficient. So you definitely want to make sure you take advantage of them. And lastly, because it remembers your last edit and will make that the default. So let's say right now we want to perform a different edit. Let's say we want to do place on top. So let's do that. Place it on top of this option here. So now, as you can see, this edit will get performed and going forward. So now this is going to become the default. All you need to do is to simply just drag this clip over, review this menu, and then just quickly drop it. This will start to perform place on top edit going forward. So yeah, guys, turning on this uh, setting here is really going to save you a lot of time, will make your edit really, really efficient. Uh, and it's definitely something you want to explore. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And as always, I will see you next time.